Hi and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. We are here in Michigan and I'm doing one of those two day a week shopping things. So it's like three in the afternoon right now. Because of where I'm at, I'm like an hour north of Detroit. So I'm gonna go to Detroit tomorrow and do all the shopping. But today, this afternoon, I'm going to head up to Port Huron, I think it's called, and just hit up an Ollie's at TJ Maxx and Target because I need to return some stuff. We'll see what I find over these two days. I'll add up my hours and all my profit at the end, as always. I'm actually pretty excited because it's August, but Q4 is here, and if I see any Halloween stuff, I'm definitely gonna be scanning it. If you need help with Q4, I have a guide below for that. Let's head out and see what we find. All right, made it to Target. I have some returns to do, and then I'm gonna go ahead and scan the back to school because that's still going on and seasonal toys and that might be it besides some personal products so let's see what we find so target was a success i normally don't actually find a whole lot but q4 suddenly target is a gold mine so most of actually i think everything i got was toys i spent 237 dollars. i found this one toy that sells for crazy it was 20 dollars, and i think it's going for 60 let me show the screenshot here. I made a bunch of notes when I was in there so I wouldn't forget to tell you. So always look for Target exclusive or Walmart exclusive or Kohl's exclusive, whatever the store is exclusive. You wanna scan those. Often if you are gated in toys, you can still sell them. So that's just a tip for Q4. If you wanna get ungated in guides, y'all know I got that. Get the guides below. If you see anything new, so I scan these toys because they're brand new and I've never seen them before. And I don't know who these girls are, but they already have a pretty good rank. It wasn't enough for me to buy just that, but it's definitely something I'll keep scanning. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna show these on the screen because I don't remember exactly what the profit was. I just know it wasn't enough for me to wanna buy it. But as I said, Halloween is already here. I saw these, they were on a random end cap and they don't make enough money for me to buy, but I'm telling you, if you can buy them early and make it that three or $4 right now, definitely do it if that's your comfort level because odds are that that price will drop. So if you get there early, you get more profit. Like I said, everything I bought just now was toys. Oh, and I shared like four things in the bolo group. So if you need help with Q4, you know I got you. All right, now I'm headed off to TJ Maxx and to put the AC on because it's hot. I just cleaned up in there. So much beauty stuff. I think I spent $450 altogether. I found some crazy good deals. And one I want to tell you about is this item there was 12 of them on the shelf and immediately i'm thinking okay well that's a lot so i look and it costs 5.99 but it makes like eight something and so then i'm like okay let me just check keep it and so i check keep it just to see if amazon's out or it's a freakishly like high price for some reason lo and behold keep says this is actually a low price so i just went ahead and got all 12. So I always check keep up if something seems weird. This is the first time something seemed weird, like too good to be true. And time will tell how it does, but I think it should be good. And at the end of the day, it was like $5.99. So then I also wanna just say, check your seals on any beauty product, check the expiration date on grocery and beauty and check your seals. So take the time, take the lid off because I found one thing, I opened it and it's unsealed. So I can't send that. I have one more store today. It is, I think, six o'clock. I'm not really sure. And it's Ollie's, so that one might take a while. I'm starting to get hungry. But all in all, this has been a great day and this is my second store. This is way up to check the banks. I got so excited for this one. $3.99, it would make like $6, cost $15, or selling for $15. And the date is already passed. So you gotta check the dates. You guys, I'm on a roll today. Another one that I didn't think to check the price, the expiration. It expires on 11-20, which is too late for me to send in an FBA. I could do FBM, but it doesn't really make enough money for me to warrant it, which is a bummer because this was a good one. All right, I spent $300 at Ollie's. It's now eight o'clock. I'm stopping at the store to get something to eat. Then I'm gonna head out tomorrow morning and do it all over again. I got a lot of toys with this one like a lot of toys and one I recently got engated in so that was awesome we'll see what tomorrow holds it is like 9 a.m I got a little bit later of a start this morning because I had to edit and upload a video for YouTube today is Thursday and I upload videos and I waited too long 
Anyways, so yes, if you're wondering, I am still wearing the same shirt as yesterday because that's what I normally do and why do anything different? No one saw me yesterday that's gonna see me today except for you guys. So I'm wearing the same shirt. And I'm going to head out to the Detroit area and source today. I hope it's not a super long day, but we'll see how it goes. First, I got a lot of chunky like boxes yesterday, so I need to make sure I have enough boxes. I thought I was gonna show you where I keep them. Here's where I keep the boxes, right here on the side of the RV. And it's full of little boxes that I bought and never used. So. If you are thinking that I'm super organized, I'm not, I'm disorganized. <laughs> I just know where everything is. Right, so first up was the boxes because I learned that if I get them first I can put them on the bottom of the truck and then pack everything on top instead of waiting till the end like I used to and then I put them on top of everything and then sometimes I couldn't even see out the truck so it is like a month after I did my last sourcing video and the shelves are still empty so what this means is obviously Q4 is coming and new stuff is coming and if you can grab it when it's new and it's like Sometimes it's so new it's not even on Amazon. You can really make a big profit just for a little bit because usually Amazon will come on, sometimes not. You always wanna look for stuff that's on sale when stuff is starting to clear out like right now. And then you also wanna look for new stuff when it comes in. So always scan everything, keep looking. I don't know if you know this, but kids like weird stuff. So I literally scan anything that looks weird. This is weird to me. And it's selling for $18, which is almost double what it's going for here. It doesn't make enough profit for me to buy it, but that's just an example. Scan all the weird looking stuff. Okay, so really quickly, I just want to point something out. I was scanning the clearance here, and there's actually Lego on clearance, which is super rare. But when I first scanned it, it was it's $27 after tax, and then it would make like $9. And I'm like, mm, is that really worth it? It's kind of big. Then I saw there's no FBA sellers. So yes, it's worth it, because I'm going to increase my price. I'll probably list it for $59 or $69, so... All right, I ended up spending an hour and a half in there, a lot longer than I thought I was going to. I spent $500 and it was all on toys. Literally all I went for was boxes and to just take a quick look around the toy aisle, but there was so many. So I'm excited to tell you what that profit's gonna be at the end, but holy cow, I'm so excited. It's that time of the year already. So that was a real short drive. I am already here at Marshall's, which is in the same parking lot as Walmart. So one of the cool things is that I already sourced TJ Maxx yesterday and Marshall's is the same. So I already kind of know what I'm looking for this time, which should make it go a little bit faster. So all the backpacks and lunch boxes, not all of them, but most of them are on sale because we're towards the end of August. But guess what? I sold them all the way into October. So definitely keep scanning them, especially when they're on sale. Okay, so I did okay in there. I didn't find a lot of beauty stuff. I actually found a bunch of toys and some backpacks. I was trying to find a quiet, like private aisle to film in, but there was like not a lot of people in the store, but someone in every aisle. So I was like, let me just film the thing and come out and tell you about it. This is a little freebie for you. It is on clearance at Marshall's, probably TJ Maxx also for $5. It's making $6. I think it's selling for 18, but here are the screenshots because I can't remember. And the other thing is I share a lot of things in the Bolo group as I'm Shopping, so I shared a ton from this one store. I also shared a bunch from Walmart and I have a new thing now where you can join my channel. So if you want some leads, but you don't want to give a lead. So how the Bolo group is everyone shares at least one lead a month. If you want the leads, but you don't want to share any leads, you can join my YouTube channel at the RA level and I share three to five leads there every month that I don't share anywhere else. That's only on YouTube. And the other thing that I'm noticing is like I found this crazy Lego set, which I've sold before and it's on clearance even lower now. So it's $8 making $18. I found four of them. But the thing is I found it last year. So I've noticed this at Marshall's and also at Ollie's. Stuff I was selling last year is back on shelf again right now early because they're moving through it all. So it's definitely a time to get stuff. Again, I only buy stuff that is selling now. I'm not buying something and hoping later on it's gonna sell during Q4 and it's gonna get bigger. No, it's selling really well right now. It's cheap right now. I'm gonna flip it. I think that is it. I'm gonna grab my peanut butter and jelly and head over to Ollie's. So I'll see you there. Okay, so I think I was in there for an hour altogether and 
I didn't get a whole lot. I got exactly two things. First thing is you have to scan everything. I got two things and I scanned so much stuff. It does help that I was just there yesterday at a different Ollie's and so I knew that I there's some things I didn't need to scan because I remember that I scanned them and they weren't worth it. You just gotta scan everything because I found one thing that I wouldn't know if I didn't scan. And it's really frustrating when you're new and you're dated at anything, but trust me, because when you find something, you'll be so happy you did. Another thing I wanna just tell you is if it has different packaging, it does not matter. A lot of times, that's usually why you can find it really cheap at TJ Maxx, Ollie's, those kind of stores, is because the company is changing out their packaging, and so they wanna get rid of it and you win because as long as the, like, so I got a beauty item, as long as the ounces are the same, everything on the packaging is the same, if it's just a different design, that does not matter, as long as the product inside is the same. And so I just talked about scan everything, so I spent an hour in there, made $200 profit on two items. So I got one item, it was $3.99, makes $7. I got 12 of them. I found another one, which is a toy that I was actually looking for here, and that was $5.99, makes $11 on every single one of them has a really good rank too. It cost me $114, it was $126, but then I used my 10% off Ollie's discount and got it all for $114. So $114, one hour, making $200 pro profit. Apparently my iPhone storage is getting full. I have two stores left. I'm going to TJ Maxx and I'm going to Target because remember all those toys I got yesterday? I gotta find them again out of the new Target. Anywho, I will check back in at the end and of course share all the profit. So here we go, two stores left. It is two o'clock. I'm making good time, guys. All right, I gotta film this way because the back is full and overflowing and then you'll see what I have. <laughs> so I got so many backpacks, so many backpacks. I think I got 20, they were all in clearance for 10. They were, they all go for like $40, so it makes like $10 profit on every one. So that means I spent 10, I am getting my $10 back plus an extra 10. So that was a really great find. I also got a bunch of grocery items and a bunch of toys. I am loving all the toys that are going for crazy money right now. This is awesome. So anyways, last stop, one more target. It should be quick because I already know what I'm looking for there. So let's see if I find it. That is a wrap. It is only four o'clock. So I only work for, wait, nine, seven hours today. <laughs> <laughs> to count it out. I did five hours yesterday, so that's another 12, but it's not all in one day. Didn't get a whole lot. I just got some of the things that I already got at Walmart and Target yesterday, adding to my stash. And I will count it all up and let you know what the profit is. Okay, so long story short, I recorded this already last week in my RV, and then I accidentally deleted it along with some other footage and I wasn't done with it yet. So I am recapping the shipment all over again this week from a hotel room. So if you're wondering why I'm in a hotel, it's because the RV's in a shop and hopefully we won't be here much longer, but we'll see. Anyways, let me dig into the shipment facts. The total shipment was 256 items. It cost $2,223. The profit I made is $2,425. Again, this is the profit back to me extra money. I made my $2,200 back and I'm getting $2,400 on top of that. After you take out shipping, it was actually a very big shipment. I think it was my biggest, not unit wise, but like box wise, because remember I said I got some bulky things. It was like six big boxes and then I think two, one small and one medium. Here's a snapshot. So that was when I took it to the UPS store. It was three shipments all together. It cost $68 for the shipment. One was a very big one. I think it was like 200 items went there. It was $51. Another two shipments were about $8. And then, so the total profit after shipping cost, which comes out Amazon, it comes out of my account on the Amazon side. So profit after shipping is $2,357. My total ROI for that is 106%. So as you can see, like I made a little bit over what I spent. So I get my $2,000 back. Plus, now I have $2,300. The total hours, so I did, I went shopping five hours on Wednesday, seven hours on Thursday, and then I packed up five hours on Friday and four hours on Saturday for a total of 21 hours. I'm always saying I do this part-time. This is my, it's my full-time job, but it's like part-time hours, which is really cool. And then just a very quick breakdown of the categories. So back to school, I mentioned I got a lot of backpacks. I got 16 backpacks. Total profit for all of that was $200, and that was 8% of my total profit. 
beauty items. This was 57 items, $500 profit, and 20% of my total shipment. I had some grocery items, some health items, some kitchen items, and then some toy items. So, as I mentioned, I found a lot of toys on this shipment. It was actually 52% of my total profit is from toys. Over half of my shipment was toys, both in units and profit. So, if you are gated in toys, I can definitely help you and there is still time to get ungated because Q4 is here, you guys, and if you want to make the most of it, you can still get ungated in toys. Also, topical grocery, OTC, all of that. Beauty, as you see, is the other really big category that I sold this week in and that was 20% of my total profit came from beauty. So there's still times you can grab the guide. I have a bundle. You can get all three guides, my Q4 guide plus both ungating, or you can just get the two ungating guides or whatever one you need. All of that is below. All right, and now the last thing I just, I just want to break down again how the Bolo group has helped me personally and a little bit more about how it works. I will say, depending on when you're watching this, the Bolo group is getting two capacity, so it might be have a wait list. You just have to check if it's available right now or not. If it's available, I would recommend jumping on it because when we do get to the capacity, which is around 200 members, I'm going to close it down because I really do like keeping it small and I don't want it to get too big and crazy. Really quickly, here's how the Bolo group helped me on this shipment. I've done this in a previous video, and so the green that you see here is direct leads. That means it's literally the item someone shared in the group. I will say that all of this profit that I'm sharing with you right now is not an item I shared in the group, it's what others have shared. So green items, so we have kitchen, beauty, kitchen, beauty, toy, and kitchen. These are all items, direct leads, 27 units. 11% of my total shipment was direct Bolo leads. Then we have branch leads. Those are ones like someone shared one item and then I found something either because I was looking for that item, so a different flavor or a different brand of like a like item. It's something that I was not looking for but found based off of Bolo Group lead. So that was 58 items total, these yellow ones here, for 23%. Altogether, the Bolo Group helped me with $754 of profit on one shipment. This is why I'm always like, if you need help, there's definitely help out there. So the total Bolo Group units, my total shipment, a third of my shipment was all thank you to the Bolo Group. So thank you guys so much, Bolo Group. I love you guys. And then I just wanna share, because I mentioned I'm sharing these items in the Bolo Group as I'm shopping. On the 20th when I was shopping, I shared 19 leads. This is just from me sharing, not everyone else in the group. Everyone else in the group is also sharing a lead or two or three or however many they want to share. You only have to share one. I'm sharing 19 leads. Obviously, I'm not telling you what the item is, but this is just part of the spreadsheet of what I shared. So if that is of interest to you, definitely check it out. I think it'll be really helpful for Q4. And if you guys need any more help from me, if you have any questions, please let me know. You can email me, you can comment, you can send me a DM, however your preferred method. I am grateful and happy to help. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you back here for another Amazon selling video.